Thank you. Um, Pastor Ben, I love your mug. That's great. Um, so we don't, um, we have our big back to school event coming up at the end of August that um, we've partnered with um, Landa Ben and um, Pastor Ben last year. Um, so it's going to be August 23rd. Um, and we have some UMD um, College Park scholars coming to volunteer with us. Um, but we haven't worked out all the details yet, but we know it will be August 23rd. So, um, and usually we just go have kind of like a celebration where we distribute some back to school items like uniforms and some supplies. Um, and we do it in Riverdale at Parkview Gardens Apartments and then um, at a location in Landover or two, two locations that are kind of in the Landover area. So um, if anybody wants to come come out that day and have a table or something, we'd love to have you there um, and keep talking more about details. That's, we have a, we have a picnic coming up also June 15th. Um, that's more just for our students and their families. Um, but if you guys wanted to come, you're welcome to. <laughs> it's going to be in College Park at um, a park in College Park. So. Okay. Well, we'll definitely be on board with you again, Mary, trying to bring some uh, produce and fruit to that location. And, and Mary's very, uh, uh, the word here, uh, well, she said we'll have a few Maryland students. <laughs> Last year, I pulled up and it comes like busloads. Uh, Maryland students. <laughs> yeah, I think she has she has a good amount of volunteers, so we thank God for that. Absolutely. Right. And, and Mary, um, okay. sorry, Miss uh, Pastor Ben, Mary, let me know when we could discuss our partnership on uh, English yes. class. Okay, thank you. We'll do. I'm waiting. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jackie M, is your your turn, and Antonia will. Um, about your event. Yes, thank you, Anna. Um, I think Antonia can share about um, ITGA. We are looking for volunteers to help us moder moderate the rooms and just timekeepers. What do you say moderate? Wait, let, not moderate the room. It's just timekeep in the room. Timekeeping, yes. Yes. I don't That's want to be like, you don't have to get involved. It's literally just <laughs> sitting in there and watching the presentation and telling them when there's five minutes left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's well, um, when and do you have a flyer? I do, which I was just going to send everybody after after this. So um, yes, and I know Jackie is taking notes, right? Yes. So um, uh, and we do have the um, well, the ITJ is the International Town and Gown Association Conference, and they deal with all of the um, type of relationships that the city and the universities ho hold and just talking about those topics that are related to connectivity and working together. Um, so. It's going to be three days from June 4th, I mean, June 5th to the 6th, but June 5th, we're oh, only good. Mm -hmm. June 5th to the 7th. June 5th to the 7th, yes. Um, And I have like 50 volunteer slots to fill. Mm -hmm. Um, And it is so difficult. <laughs> it's like pulling teeth because uh, it's the summer. So um, I'll send that link over along. Um. And Can it be well, high schoolers, Antonia? Um, high school. Or it needs I, to be college. It doesn't need to be college. I just I'm thinking that normally high schoolers do it for the SSL hours, and I'm not sure that we can sign for SSL hours. But I could, like, let's say it's that is true. Our youth group, okay. Um. So yes, then. Um, is there a certain age do you know, Antonia, for? A certain age? Um, typically, no. I would say high schoolers. Yeah. Um, uh, I would say older high schoolers that uh, are responsible with time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, but otherwise, no, there's no um, limit. We're also, um, I'm really, really trying to pull from UMD staff considering there's 10,000 of them on campus all year round. So I'm trying, but I will send the link um, in case anybody's interested in 
volunteering for the event. It's also really great because if you volunteer, you get to sit in on the sessions and the whole purpose of the International Town and Gown Association conference is for people to um, uh, share like the good, the bad and the ugly about um, the collaborating between universities, towns, nonprofits, <laughs> businesses. We also have um, quite a few nonprofit representatives and businesses coming as well. Um, so yeah, I'll send that link out. Um, and uh, I'm also writing some notes. Um, uh, I did want to ask, I remember during our last meeting, Anna, we had talked about having running notes and a sign-in sheet. Did we end up doing that? Because I have a, a template that I can use for this. So I'll just, I'll, I'll grab that up while we're talking. Okay, that'll be nice. <laughs> Antonia, can um, are you you said you're sharing the link in this chat, or are you going to send it out? I'm going to send it afterwards. I don't want to make okay. people panic and try to save the link. <laughs> okay, that's awesome because I'm 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 trying to um, connect with our coordinator for AmeriCorps and see if maybe our AmeriCorps members can volunteer and support. Um, so once she gets back to me, then I can great. let you know. Thank you so much. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. And that's all we have, I think, so far with Good Neighbor Day. We're in the process of having a new team member and we'll probably welcome her to this meeting and ask her to come. Uh, and her name is Josanne Francis and she'll start on May 20th. So we're really excited. She's going to be leading the Good Neighbor Day initiatives and logistics and working together with us to make sure everything works smoothly. <laughs> So um, I think that's all the updates we have. Uh, do you have anything else, Antonia? Um, not off the top of my head. Besides the fact that we are today, or later to, after this meeting, um, we're going to be doing a Good Neighbor Day info session. So if you have ever been interested in nominating a project um, in your community with your organization, um, you are all welcome to come. Um, before we leave, I will drop a link in the chat to mm -hmm. open up um, and I know that we work with Francis many from the meeting many, many members here um so if you would like to talk about your experience too you're welcome to join us just let me know and I can share the link uh for the calendar invite because we want them to know about examples of what they can do for their community members at their school site um right. so yeah Antonia, I think Francis has a question about yeah. the yeah. So what time? What time? Um, June fifth and sixth. Oh, so um, the 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 volunteer shifts range is two hour shifts. So we have shifts from like nine a. I, I don't remember the exact shift is, but it's like nine to eleven, and then like I think one to three. So it's just mm -hmm. shifts during the day. Um, okay. So for Wednesday and for Wednesday and Thursday, there's shifts. There's like three different shifts from like nine to five. Then on Friday, there's shifts from like nine to two. Um, but okay. yeah, so there's two hour shifts. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to do the entire day. They can choose two hour shifts. Perfect. Thanks. Yes. All right, are we done with um, your team, Jackie and Tanya? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna pass this mic to Pastor Ben. Well, good morning, everybody. I guess we should first of all give a big congratulations to uh, Angela Osterbrooks for winning the Maryland Senate uh, candidate for Maryland. And so we are thanking God for her what she's done in our community and uh, now she's in the race. So she's, uh, you know, we'll see what the Lord has has for us. And so congratulations. Uh, I want to talk to you um, about a, a special event that Passion Compassion is going to be having on May, Tuesday, May 28th. Tuesday, May 28th across the literally the world is called World Hunger Day. I don't know if you knew that. But all across the world, uh, there's uh, addressing food insecurity 
throughout our nation and, and around the world itself. And so uh, PNC is going to take advantage of this day. We're not normally doing a distribution on a Tuesday, but this is the Tuesday right after Memorial Day as well. So it even makes it a little more tougher. But we're joining together with uh, District 2 and District 3 Council Members, Eric Olson and Juanica Fisher. We're going to do a 8.30 in the morning press release, uh, a press uh, conference there. When they're going to come, they're going to speak on food insecurity going on in our county and how our county is addressing it. We're going to speak according to how uh, we're addressing it, uh, not only in ourselves, but through our coalition. And and so it's just a uh, important day. The, the day is really called in the county. They have uh, done a proclamation for this day. So there'll be a proclamation read uh, that morning. And it's really uh, called Hunger Action Day. And so uh, within Passion and Compassion, our theme is going to be ending hunger in our community. And that will be, of course, has been, will continue to be our theme uh, moving forward. But so 8.30 a.m., we're going to have a, a press uh, there at, uh, starting from that time. 11 a.m. We'll be doing all the produce uh, bags. We're expecting five to 600 families, possibly more, to be going into our social services throughout all of our school systems. Um, we're going to do photo ops for the council members. They're going to get 50 of their bags and Anika's and 50 of Eric just to do, you know, the photo op for them. But um, Annabelle is going to bring us 50 bags from the Ben bag. Foundation. <laughs> and so we're, we're really thankful. But what we could use is volunteers. And so uh, if you have any opportunity to come and help us that day, or you can send some folks our way, uh, that would be great. We would probably need the volunteers there by around 9 a.m., which is real early for us. We normally... Our volunteers aren't there until 10 a.m., so they have to come an hour early. And uh, and we're just going to make this a big day. If you would like to come and set up a table at this event, uh, we would uh, you know, love for you to do that. If you want to share your resources, share some things that you're doing, um, we would appreciate that. If you have any access to any type of uh, press, any type of press, if you could... You know, uh, Annabelle, she has the flyer. You can put it. In. Yeah. Yeah, put that flyer. And so uh, this is just an opportunity. You know, we come and we've supported many of your uh, your outreaches. And uh, we're just asking you to support, you know, support passing Compassion on this day. Like I said, it's a whole new thing for us doing something on a Tuesday in our community. We got our support from our mayor. Actually, we're going to try to have our mayor speak that day for a couple minutes uh, concerning what uh, our town, Riverdale Park, is doing uh, concerning food insecurity. But on top of all of that, like Annabelle does a, uh, a Jackie, you and I, we got to we got to cover our mouths because we <laughs> called her Annabelle. <laughs> Anna. I called her Anna. Sorry. You did, you did good. You did good. You're being recorded. Yeah, so uh, Anna has a distribution that day. So I told her, you know, keep your distribution. Just talk about World Hunger Day. Just talk about how um, Linda Ben is, is answering the problem in their community concerning food insecurity. You know, let's just blast it out that we are uh, very, uh, very adamant and very, you know, vocal on uh, that we're trying to do the best we can to end hunger in our community. And many of us are doing food distributions throughout the week and throughout the month. And so even though maybe your distribution isn't on a uh, Tuesday of, you know, May 28th, whatever your day is, talk about word hunger. Talk about how your program is addressing the needs in our community because 
as we've seen, pandemic came. It got incredibly larger with our uh, with our economy the way it is right now. It, it's really people are really struggling, really hurting, and so we know. Even the Bible declares that the poor and the hungry are always going to be with us. And so uh, this is just going to be a, a day where we kind of highlight and throw out there. We're hoping to get, you know, uh, some news coverage to really uh, say, hey, all throughout Prince George's County cares. And we care. And that's why uh, we have this coalition, Prince George's Cares Coalition, because we care. And that's why everybody comes on this line every other Wednesday is because we care about the matters that are going on in our community. And so we're going to send you the flyer. If you could share the flyer, if you could help with volunteers, that would be the greatest thing. Um, Sorry, can you tell me what time you need volunteers to? So 8.30 a.m. to? No, 9 a.m. to, oh. well, here's the deal. Um, 9 a.m. to 11 is we'll bag like five, 600 bags. So only 100 bags are going to be pre bagged, and that's just for the photo op or the, the council members. But then we're going to have 500 more bags to, you know, to uh, put together. So it's probably going to be 9 o'clock to at least 12 o'clock. So our distributions, it's just like a Thanksgiving dinner. Many, all of y'all know this. Make this take all this time to get the Thanksgiving meal together. And then in short time, all the food's gone. So that's what happens in our distribution. It takes two hours to do the bags, less than one hour, everything's done. Uh, crowds dispersed and we're on our way you know, home. So 9 a.m. to noon would be uh, the hours. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we just want to invite you uh, if you could help us get the word out. We're, uh, our our board has been so concerned. Uh, will you be able to get a, the people there? <laughs> I told him getting the people there is the last of our words. Trust me. Once you get it out into the school systems, it's a done deal. They're going to be there. So. We're just excited about um, this event. Uh, we're, we're thankful for those that could help us out during this event at any level. Um, and so, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's all, Anna, is that we have a special day, May 28th, going to be at, are going to be at, where, where are we going to be at? Tanglewood Park. So known address is zero. There's no address to the the park in in uh, in Riverdale Park, but that's the thing. Riverdale Park has given us the big blinking sign. We will have that announced throughout the week, uh, you know, prior. And so, uh, come help us serve the community. Uh, and I appreciate any assistance you could give to us. You're muted, Anna. And Pastor Ben, hopefully next year we could have the PGCC collaborate more on this day if we do it yeah. every year, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Um, we we got a late start on this and, and it was just trying to get all the entities together. And so yeah, next year we will definitely do that to try to make something special where we all can, uh, you know, come together. But uh, it was just the fact that we wanted to dress it on this day. We don't have to do it exactly on this day, but we want to do it, you know, in a, you know, close uh, to that day, just because it, it's the world it dresses up. Um, we have, re we have um, reusable grocery bags. If you, uh, that like for, the university if you want us to give you like a 50 or 100 of them that'd be great any anything you can get that'd be awesome and i'm also gonna bring the volunteer stuff to some of the units on campus to see if i can get 
a group of employees or something. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah like tomorrow, tomorrow we have a group of around 40, not tomorrow, Friday, we have a group of around 40 of the Maryland alumni coming to help us. And I was like, hey, we need you like on May 28th, Tuesday. But that, that wasn't working out. But uh, yeah, so any way you can put that out on campus, uh, that would be that would be wonderful. So in line, go ahead, Antonia. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say how you got in contact with the alumni, because I've been putting your events in our newsletter. So I was just wondering how uh, what that connection was. Really wasn't like this like personal connection. It was through our uh, volunteer uh, program that we're connected with. Kyle knows what it is. I don't. He does all that for us, so mm -hmm. I can have him send you that link. Yes, I would love to know. Uh, you mean like the the volunteer website? Yeah, I think. Yeah, you know. yeah. So that's I share. Really share right? Yeah, that's the one. That's the link that I share in. Like, awesome. I've shared them in all like a bunch of our newsletters. So hopefully they maybe just that love us. That's all. That's yeah, great. maybe they're just getting to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a really great link uh, to get volunteer. I think it's volunteer.com. Antonia. Like it's like the, it's the really big volunteer site. Yeah, a um, lot of students are using can, it. So it's can you helpful. share it, Antonia, in this uh, chat group, please? Yes, I'm also going to I can also add it to the notes that I'm writing. Yes. Um, yes. Can I, are you done, Antonia? Yes. Okay, so I'm about to say in line with the World Hunger Day, uh, these are some of the Hunger Awareness Month, aside from May 28th. So June happens to be National Hunger Awareness Month, and then September is the um, National Hunger Action Month. So just so you know when to do some campaigns. I mean, actually the September will be a big one. Maybe we need to think about what we could do to raise awareness on the opposite side. People like group like us who provide emergency food assistance, you know, what entails to do what we're doing. I think people need to also know about that. So yeah, so, so that we could get more support in our work. So yeah. All right, well, thank you. I think we're going to turn it over to Frances now. Mm -hmm. She has a special event coming up here in June. Yes. So go, go right ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Ben. So for June 8th, we have our community baby shower. And donations are coming in. People are purchasing things on the Amazon um, list. I had shared uh, the flyer in previous meetings. And so um, it's a Saturday. If anyone's available to just come by, I mean, you know, uh, it's, it's going to be a beautiful event. We have 30 um, uh, expecting moms uh, that'll be attending the event. And we've had, like I said, we've had a really good turnout um, of donations and people really supporting this event. So it's June 8th on a Saturday. Um, it will be at LAYC. Um, you know what depending on the weather either inside or outside we may have some outside stuff some inside stuff um but it's going to be really lovely and it would be nice for um anyone who can come by and um to show love and support that would be wonderful and um, so oh sorry anna quick question francis so you're good on the baby shower gifts pretty much pretty much yes i mean if if um um, Anna, do you still have a copy of the link of the, I'm sorry, of the flyer? I'll find out maybe, yeah, so but if it, you want to drop it here, so I I'll, could so I'll have to it again. Um, get it from my uh, file. <laughs> if not, but I'll find out. That's okay. Remember. That's okay. Because, um, you know, if there's any, if uh, you want to share it and um, look on the Amazon wish list and see if whatever's left over. All right, bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Um, bye, Joe. That, Joe. That would be great, you know, but so far we're pretty good um, with gifts. People have been very generous. We've had, you know, Target make donations. Um, we just received another check uh, um, 
from who I think from the giant giant supermarket. So they're really donating, which is really nice. Um, so um, we're How happy for this doing? event. How are you doing, Francis, on diapers? So we we have the uh, the partnership with the diaper bank. Uh, with the and and so we're like the distribution hub, so we pick up all the diapers for everyone. So we're pretty good with diapers, um, so that's great. How about uh, also, food? will so they be receiving a, a grocery bag of food or something? No, no, they won't. So if that's something okay. that maybe uh, someone could, can, yeah, just give thirty bags. That would be wonderful. Oh yeah, hold on, let me take this in my notes here. <laughs> Uh, well, what uh, what what time is that event? That's on Saturday, June eighth, right? Yes, yeah, Saturday, June eighth. So let me get the flyer because the this way I can be certain on the time. I'm sorry, I should have had that already. Maybe we could um, also have some like fruit and vegetables. That would be wonderful that's because perfect, how, how, we could do that. The shelf stable and Pastor Ben will do the fresh ones. How how uh, how many volunteers do you have that day? Are you good with volunteers? So I'm looking right now. So um, the event is going to take place um, the June 8th from 2 to 6. We have 30 volunteers for the day. Um, but if anyone else would like to volunteer, I mean, this way you can well, help. I'm just thinking if you could have three or four of those working on making some produce bags. Because if I bring the produce, you have to. Yes. That would yeah. So um, so we have uh thirty parents, thirty expecting mothers. Um, we're expecting about a hundred people. Uh, we have uh the food donation, so we're gonna have food. It's uh, donated from Olive Garden, and so we have that Amazon wish list going, and it, we have thirty volunteers already. And if you're gonna bring the 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 uh the produce, that would be great. We can set the produce up. Um, in the morning, we we were planning to start set up at two. But I guess if you're going to bring uh, produce or the food, we can start, you know, bagging the stuff before two o'clock on that Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it there probably around before the noon hour, so you have plenty of time. And, uh, you know, then you can just let us know where you want that uh, jumped off at. So yeah. Awesome. That would be wonderful because then I'm going to segue into Pastor Ben. I would love to connect you and I after this meeting sometime whenever you're available, how, because we have um, we're not going to be funded again for um, for food distributions on Thursdays. And so um, I really do want to keep doing the food distributions in one way or another. So it's going to dwindle down to once a month on a Friday. And so I want to connect with you, Pastor Ben, to see how we can work something out with pre-purchasing food, you know, um, like pre-paying for the food and then receiving it once a month, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, Eduardo and I have talked and we'll we'll talk as well. OK. Yeah. So this way we can pre-pay for everything and then we'll just get it once a month. If that's if we can do that, that would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah that will work. So awesome. And, and June 22nd, um, we have another health fair that's going to be at LAYC. Um, and so we're going to have uh, mobile units for STIs, diabetes checks, um, cholesterol, all health screenings. Um, we're going to have HIV um, screenings, um, vision testing for youth and testing for adults as well. So that's on June 22nd. Um, we we have a lot of partners that are coming in to provide um, the testing. That's great. Mm -hmm. So June twenty second, you could just send whomever. Once I get the flyer, I will send it to you. It's still in the works. It's through um, our wellness department, our wellness program. Um, but I just wanted you to you know keep get the put it on your radar. June twenty second is a big health fair. Okay, great. Let's sit along this line and give let's give kudos. I don't think Mike's with us today, Pastor Mike, but Pastor Mike did one of those uh, new what, what's it called? The new, what's your event on the eighth call? The baby shower. The yeah. the community so baby he shower. Had, he had a community baby shower at, at for metamorphosis on Saturday. Looked like the event went real well. I watched a little bit of it on Facebook. And so let's uh Let's thank God that we're really 
seeing the needs that are, are very important in our community. And uh, I know these uh, these expected mothers are very uh, appreciative of being able to get all the help that they can get. So yeah. thank everyone for really seeing the need and having compassion. So see, compassion is seeing the need and then meeting it. Not just seeing the need and saying, oh, I'm so sorry. No, but meeting the need. So mm -hmm. thank you, uh, LEYC and, and Metamorphosis for seeing the needs and, and meeting them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Ben. Um, one question. Um, does anyone have donations of formula? No. Um, we can um, just, you know, for 30 expecting mom, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw it into the grocery bag that we're oh, that would Yeah, that would be wonderful because formula is so super expensive. Okay, that's what the partnership for. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else online have a special event? Anything they want to share? Anything yep. they want to? Who's that? Yeah, Reverend Clark, Doctor Mike, okay, uh, Ricardo. Oh, everybody, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go? We have seven minutes. Reverend we Clark, you had the, anything? We better, let the, we better let the preacher go first. Yeah, Reverend Clark. You know, Reverend Clark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just invite everyone every third Saturday from 10 to 12 uh, over at the Reed Temple. You know, we have the food giveaway. So we always invite, you know, uh, you know, all persons to participate in that until, you know, the, everything runs out. But that's every third uh, Saturday of the month from 10, 10 a.m. to noon. Uh, we have food food giveaway, and um, it's been been working very well. In fact, uh, uh, the previous uh, third Saturday, we had, we even had a health truck where we were checking for diabetes and so forth and so on. And I, I sent the flyer. I think you, uh, Sister Anna, you were uh, you were able to get that out. Mm -hmm. uh, that went extremely well. Folks were, I mean, lined up, you know, to at the health health truck, and 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 they were just very happy about that. So. But yeah, every third third uh, Saturday of the month we have the food giveaway. Uh, which location? Uh, that's at uh, Reed Temple Amy Church at the eleven four hundred Lindell Boulevard, Greenbelt Mall. Perfect. All right, who's next? Doctor Mike, do you have anything coming up? Uh, no, thank you. Um, Mike, I wonder maybe on our next meeting if you could share to us some data points about the wonderful, impactful work that the community health workers are doing all over the area in Prince George's County. I don't know if that's something you might want to yeah, present. Sure. Yes, we will. Okay. We Thank, will. You. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot. No problem. <laughs> Ricardo, do you have anything? Because I know Sarah shared the um, hope something. Oh, Ria, sorry. Ricard, I keep saying Ricardo. Santiago, do you get something? Hi, yeah. So <laughs> we actually uh, have an event on June 8th. It's ready to be healthy. It's a... Uh, Fitness and Health fun, fun Fest. I actually have a flyer right here. Okay. Um, I also have a version in Spanish. Would you guys be interested in me yes, saying that? Yes, yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. One second. Um, but basically, we are mostly looking for volunteers. Um, but if you guys happen to also know vendors or anybody that wants to make a donation, we're also accepting those. Um, the shifts for the volunteers, um, they will go from either 8.30 till 11.30 and 11.30 till 3. But if that doesn't work out, I'm pretty sure they can make adjustments to that. So, so just tell me a little bit know. about the event and where it's going to be at. So it's going to be in McCormick Drive, 
1401 McCormick, McCormick Drive, which is just the parking lot of our main office. Um, and so we're just going to have like mental health resources, uh, fitness programs, um, screening for, yeah, mental health as well. Yeah. So it's more of a social gathering just to also just like also help like the, um, these people in the transition, transitioning in our transitioning youth into just socializing and also just learning healthy habits just for when they become independent and whatnot later on in life. Yeah. Um, and if you guys have any questions, I will drop down my email here in the chat and you're more That's than welcome good. to contact me. Perfect. Thank you. And Santiago, I think I've asked sometimes if you could, or do you have a chance to talk to Sarah? Um, about hope, and I can't remember. Help, yeah. Um, hope, what do hope. You mean? Yeah, there's a hope event. Yeah, I think our next one is gonna be. I could have sworn I made a note of that. So. <laughs> uh, I just mean, I think. I just saw a flyer come through on it. Yeah, September 10, yeah, which that is sounds still far, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> but we want to invite her over, either Catherine Lopez, Kat mm -hmm. Lopez. Kat mm -hmm. normally comes in our, you know, yeah. our session, if you don't mind following up so that we could kind of find out more about the hope, meet and greet. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I can, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll let Kat know. I've just been like, like coming in for her just because her schedule's looking a little busy lately. But oh. I'll definitely get in contact with them and see, and I'll get them to make time. All right. So is it really at all? Agency dot org. All right. Yeah. If you have any questions, please reach out. <laughs> Thank you, San Diego. Of course. Um, Anna, I dropped a link in the chat to our running notes that I just created. Um, if everybody that's here in the call before we leave could click on that and just put in your name and your email, just so if we all, you know, just um, like, you know, Santiago just put his email in the chat. So rather than that, if we need to email each other, we can just go into the running notes, grab the email and email each other. Um, so if everybody can just click on that, that would be great. Yep. Thank you. Those, those are great. Um... Hope we could do that uh, most of the time. <laughs> yeah, no, so I've been doing this every yeah. time. Yeah. Um, and I was also thinking, Anna, of because mm -hmm. there's flyers here, of just having a shared Google Drive and just dropping the flyers in, and then we can just share the link for people to yeah. download the flyers. Yep. So um, I'll experiment today. Yeah. I have a tool of communication tool that I'm using now um, mm -hmm. since it's fairly new so you might it's not an email blast looking it's more personalized so you might see it like I'm reaching out to you directly but it's that that the tool that I'm using allows me to do that so I'll use it today to send out the flyers but at the same time create a Google shared drive so the flyers will be available to them as well so yeah All right, Anna, it is 10 a.m. We're going to let these wonderful people uh, go and do all these wonderful things they have to accomplish today. And we just want to say thank you to everyone for joining. Thank you for what you're doing to impact our community uh, with the great uh, programs that you're doing. And let's just keep up the good work, right? And thank okay. Anna for making this all possible. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. All right, bye. Thank everybody. you. Oh, all right, thank you, everyone. Take right. care. Take care. Okay. Okay. Thank bye -bye. you, Pastor Ben. Bye -bye. I'm, um, did he did he log oh. out? He sure <laughs> yeah. did. So Anna, can you please? I'm putting my email in the chat. If you can yeah. just send it to him and ask him to um, uh, email me and a schedule a time to me, please. Yeah. Like I will. Like super soon. Yeah. Um, because uh, 